Today, we are talking about three tips on how to unlock your success. Number one, listening to your creative clock. Look, we're all not built to work nine to five. That's just the way it works. Creativity hits us at any time of the day, and you never know when it's gonna be. So you need to be open and listen to it. Look, if you wake up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat with a great idea, you need to write it down or you need to get out of bed and you need to go do whatever you need to do to make it happen. Because the truth is those little moments of brilliance are what drive us and we need to be cognizant of them and listen because that could be the next big thing for you. And that doesn't mean that you always have to be pushing and pushing and pushing your creativity. Sometimes that means you need to stop, which is number two. You need to stop and listen and think. I'm guilty of not doing this. The majority of my career, I've spent just burning the candle at both ends and going and going and going. And what I forget to do is take stock of what's happened around me so it can reanalyze what's happening have a better understanding of what's going in and coming out, going in, going out, and what I've been creating so I can take a bird's eye view and pivot if I need to. As one that often puts my head down and just bulldozes through stuff, I need to listen to myself. I also need to communicate to other people and ask, you know, how do they perceive it? How is it perceived? What do you, what do you see in this project that works? What do you don't? Do you see any stumbling blocks that I don't see? And really put it out there to your community. Um, and see if they can help you out and listen. And lastly, which I think is the most important, and I'm not just saying this because I've been listening to Simon Sinek, but you do need to find a why. And I think for a lot of people that's confusing, that's scary. What is it that I, what is it that makes me tick? I verbalize that because having something in you that drives you to do what you do and gives you a rhyme and a reason behind it makes your work that much more fulfilling. For example, Justin, what is your why? The photographs and the videos have never been the why. They're just a byproduct of me building wonderful relationships with people and putting them at the center of what I do. So if it is working with a luxury travel company and I'm taking photos, you know, you, you can look at it and be like, oh great, another pretty photo of a beach and you're like, great, but you know, who cares? You go, well, that's not the point. The point is I'm documenting an experience for somebody that could, this could be a once in a lifetime trip. It's the idea that the photos that I'm taking are going to spark joy in their life down the road. It might not be the best photo, but it's gonna be the best damn photo that you could possibly get in that situation, given what is going on. That to me is far more valuable than getting the perfect photo of the beach. I could wait for days, months, making sure that everything's perfect and take that photo and it's gorgeous. And it could go on a stock photography site and it could make a bunch of money, but I genuinely don't care because it doesn't have any purpose behind it because the people that I'm photographing for aren't in it and it doesn't capture a moment that is special to that person. Finding your why might be a little bit tough, but slowly, slowly start to think about what gets you excited. What brings you joy? Is it taking photographs or is it capturing moments? That's it guys. Taco burrito. It's a wrap. Check you later. I hope those three help you unlock your success.